What is going on? Thank you so much for being here. You are here because you want to get better and you want to improve your performance on the field and off the field in your life. In today's video, we're going to do a 10 to 15 minute mobility session where I'm going to go over myofascial stretching with you. I've been studying this for two years now from a mentor, a teacher of mine. His name is Guy Boyer. He's been studying this stuff for about 30, 40 years now. Absolute genius, osteopath from France. He used to work at Olympic Marseille in the League One in France. He's worked with a lot of top athletes, including Zidane and Tiger Woods and other big time footballers that unfortunately I can't disclose the name. But let's get into this video real quick. Static stretching session will be very, very good after your training or before bed. I like to do this generally before bed. So what we're gonna do is get into a really, really quick warm up, and then we're gonna get into the stretches. So the first thing that we are going to do is we're going to warm up the hip flexors, we're going to warm up the adductors, and then we're going to get into our stretching. So all we're going to do is just some knee lifts, coordinate the arms with the legs, so you're going to really warm up the hip flexors. Next thing we're going to do is take that out to the side. And then the next thing that we're going to do is we're just going to go front, side, across, front, side, across, front, side, across, front. way always trying to get that crown of the head to the sky we call it maintaining a proper gravity line front side cross this really really warms up the hips very tight Not a lot of footballers Next thing I'm gonna do is gonna be the last of the warm up. You guys love this on Instagram. You love this across all social media. Very, very important, being able to control the pelvis. So, if you can, so the feet are shoulder width apart, toes are slightly up. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna do posterior, anterior tilt. Posterior, anterior. Posterior, anterior. In today's culture, we're way too like this because we're constantly sitting, but we need to really focus on the posterior. A lot of Instagram girls are working on their anterior in the mirror, but I hope you don't want to be doing this, especially if you're a guy. <laughs> don't cancel me. Don't cancel me. Okay, breathe in and out of your nose. Five more with quality. Okay. Last thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna do some psoas lifts, some psoas activation. So standing tall, just give me 10 lifts each leg. So bring the knee forward up towards your chest, bring the leg straight back. Forward, straight back. Up towards the chest, straight back. 10 each leg. Okay, we're gonna get into the first stretch here. So the first stretch we're gonna work on is the figure four glute stretch. Very, very important for the low back, very important for the hips. 
very tight on a lot of foot bars. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna get into a figure four position. So what you're gonna do is this knee is pulling towards me and this knee is going that way. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna slightly evert the feet. So move the feet outwards. And then your goal is to lengthen your head along the floor, create yourself almost like a double chin, drop that low back to the floor, and then you're just gonna pull. Don't let the low back come off the floor. Switch sides. I'm gonna get my timer out. With these myofascial stretches, generally with all my one-on-one -on -one clients and with myself, I recommend three sets of 30 seconds on each side. But for the sake of the video, I'll probably go two sets, just because I wanna show you probably three stretches, two or three stretches. And it's not, like I always talk about, it's not quantity of stretches, it's quality. How well you do the stretch, how, how, how focused you are on each and every cue that I'm talking about. So same exact thing. This knee is pulling towards me, so I'm pulling that knee, and this knee is going that way. So it's creating a, an action across the fascia to really help the tissue slide better. And most importantly, for proper sliding of the tissue, healthy fascia, healthy tissue, you need to make sure you're hydrating with high quality water. So here, really try to lengthen the neck across, uh, along the floor by creating a double chin and breathe. Don't let the low back come off the floor. Drive it down, down, down. If the low back is coming off the floor, you need your range is too much. So we're gonna switch. Set number two. Hopefully you don't see my butt cheek. All good. If you ladies see it, if you enjoy it, whatever. Ladies like that, I guess. But oh, here we go. I don't get any cancel. For some reason, I don't know. Ladies do like a nice, nice butt on the male. If you're a lady on the live, if you're a lady watching this YouTube. Drop below why why that is. What I've gotten before is oh yeah, it's just nice proportions. All right, all right. That's what you say. So driving that low back down. Now that we're on the second set. Really give me a, a nice pull. Relax. Next side. Remember, pulling the knee towards me, and then this left knee is going that way creating a double chin because we want an elongation of the spine. We don't want to crunch the spine, we want to decompress the spine. We decompress the spine by creating an elongation. So driving the low back towards the floor, not letting it come up, creating a double chin for the C-spine, for the cervical spine. We're pulling. Give me a nice hard pull for the last 10 seconds. Always breathing in and out of the nose, breathing light. Relax. Next stretch I want to do is a gracilis stretch. So very important for the management of the adductors, the groin, very tight on tons of foot bars. Actually, almost every single foot bar I talk to has a groin issue. So this is important. So what you're gonna do First part of the stretch, main goal here is you're on your knee and that heel, I want it to be in line with the knee. So eventually, once you get to be pro level, you can go like this, 
But even, I've been doing this for a while. I've had some groin stuff. I like to stay down. I just like to feel the stretch. So main goal is feel it here. Let it lengthen for 30 seconds. Breathe, in and out through the nose. Breathe light to breathe light. <laughs> breathe light to breathe right. The lighter you breathe, the better it is for you. The more lifespan, the more longevity, the more health. So, next thing, just advancing it. If you felt it really nicely there, stay there. Now what we're gonna do is we're everting the foot. So same exact positioning, keeping the hips squared away towards that way but we're just everting the foot. So we're pulling the foot back towards us and away. You go on your fingertips to lengthen the stretch. You never want to feel hurting in the stretch. You do not want to feel sharp. No pain sensation. If you do, you immediately stop the stretch because that's the last thing we want. We want our stretching sessions to help us become relaxed, get us into parasympathetic state, relaxed, rest and digest. We don't want to be sympathetic, nervous, and tax the nervous system. So come out of that, then we're going to do one more regression. We're going to point the toes. So we're going to point the toes. These are not easy. If you're a beginner, stay in that first stretch. Nice. Switch sides. Same exact thing. This little setup here. So this is this is the this is the beginner version, right? Heel, heel in line with the knee, and we're just lengthening this gracilis, this adductor tissue here. If you want a more advanced, you go on your fingertips. But I just like in the beginning, in the first set, I like to activate, lengthen, loosen. Let the tissue slide. Okay, we come out of that. Next thing we're gonna do is the progression. So if your adductors are tight, you stay in that beginner stretch. So all we're doing is we're pulling those toes back and then pulling the foot away. Pulling the toes back and then pulling the foot away. Breathing. I'm hungry. I haven't eaten lunch. Doing it for the fam. 10 seconds. Breathe. So, next thing we're going to do is the last progression in this stretch. You're just going to point the toes. Breathe. Ten seconds. hamstring stretch we're gonna want to be in an anterior tilt so we're gonna we can allow that pelvis to dump forward so all I want you to do is we're gonna be stretching the right leg first put that leg first in front of you 
and then slightly towards the midline. So you want to evert the foot, pull the toes back. I mean, you want to pull the toes back and pseudo invert the foot. So slight inversion of that foot. All we want to do here is put our hand here. I'm just going to slightly go over that leg. Breathe into the stretch. This leg should be relaxed. Breathe. 15 more seconds. Cool. Shake that leg out a little bit. Do one more set. So setup is very important. Slightly towards the midline, slightly towards the belly button. Pull the toes back, pseudo invert the foot. So we're creating an inversion. Letting this look like relaxed hand in the pocket. Going over. We're creating an X center rotation here. And we're just reaching. Trying to keep a nice elongation. That's where I screw up. I let the head come here. It's gotta be double chin. Let it go. And then the last stretch of the day for the left side, give you a different angle. So, same exact setup. This leg is loose off here. So, first, first start here, hips are squared off. Toes in. Boom. Boom. Slightly across the midline. This is as relaxed as possible. Pseudo invert the foot. Try to drive that heel that way to elongate. Drive the heel, don't push the knee to the ground. Drive the heel, drive the heel. If you're driving the heel even that much that the foot comes off the ground, that's fine. That's fine. So this hand is here, boom. Breathe. One more set and then we are done for the day. Thank you for being here. Hope you enjoyed it. What do we do, three stretches? Three stretches with high quality? Don't beat it, doesn't beat it. High quality instead of quantity. Invert the foot, drive the heel, 30 more seconds. That's it, that's the sesh. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me get my water. Like I told you, if you want a healthy body, if you want healthy fascia, you gotta get hydrated. Stay hydrated. Don't spill it on yourself. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. Please hit that subscribe button and let me know if you wanna see more videos like this in the comments. Recommend it to your friends, recommend it to your teammates, recommend it to your coaches for your recovery sessions. Trust me, it's fantastic stuff. I will see you in the next video. Make sure you subscribe. Deuces.